Hi guys, Redneck Computer Geek here. Today we're going to be working on locking the rear end in a MTD transaxle. These are one speed transmissions with a forward neutral reverse and they use a variable drive pulley when they're in a lawn tractor to be able to change the speed. Now over the years dealing with people on the Main Mud Mowers Facebook group and ATLTF, the online forum that's for off-roading lawn tractors, it's basically a general consensus that the MTD single speed transmission is the worst possible for off-roading. And the reason being is because they literally snap in half. Usually it's right about here, they just snap. And I never understood how something with so much rugged built-in area in the center would snap like that, until I tore down the one that's been in the MTD power wheel all this time. And here's what I found. Now I don't know if you can see that in video, but I'm betting you can see this. That's a heck of a lot of flex. And it flexes back and forth, and it flexes up and down, and it just plain has a whole ton of play in it. So my goal in this video is to go over my plans for locking this up and help you guys with coming up with your own ideas for locking it. The first thing that we're going to do is address the fact that this pivots all over the place. And so what I've discovered is that if you set it in and you pull it all the way to the side and then pull the other axle all the way the other direction, you can set this bottom piece that's on the inside of the differential cover. And I'm going to refer to this as the differential cover because that's basically what it is. Um, your spider gears are actually inside going through this bolt here and you've got a gear on this side for this axle, you've got a gear on this side for this axle. So this is essentially an internal differential inside the unit. Now, what we're going to do is rather than tear this unit apart, which you can do, there are four star bits on the outside, Torx, that will pop this apart, and then you can undo the bolt here and you can pull the whole thing apart. I don't think we need to do that. Actually, what I think we need to do is leave it all together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this up so that it's nice and solid and then I'm going to ground it so that, grind it so it's nice and flush and then I'm going to take my drill press and I'm going to drill a hole through the corner of each of these top pieces and I'm going to weld that gear totally solid to this exterior of the differential cover and then on the inside of this you can actually see the gears inside of it and you can see where it matches up to the spider gears so therefore if I just weld this entire thing to the outside differential cover it locks it it's essentially exactly like my locker block method that I came up with only on the inside now for those of you who are doing research on this I would like to go and mention another aspect of transmission locking if you get a chance and you're working on a peerless transmission, you should go take a look at Doc Sprocket's channel. He does what he calls the Doc Locker, and it actually replaces everything with a solid axle component. Go look him up. But for now, I'm going to bring the camera over closer, and we're going to get a zone in on this and cover what it is we're welding. Okay, so what I'm going to try and show you right now is if you pull the axle as far out as it possibly can, there's this lip going into the differential cover. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld that all the way around so that that entire area is welded solid to this cover, essentially making that part of the axle. Okay, so at this point, we're going to pull it out, we're going to take 
this off and we're going to go grind this nice and flat against the axle. So at this point I've decided that probably a 3 8 drill bit is going to be the best idea. We're going to see if we can just port it right through the side. Now while we're right here, I'll add in, you can use WD-40 as a really cheap cutting oil, but it's no contest compared to the real stuff. So we'll see whether you can actually see inside there, but if I rotate it, You can actually see the gears going by. Apparently the brake cleaner hadn't quite gone away yet. So from here I'm going to continue the process. I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to drill a hole through here. I think actually this time I'm going to go up one size and drill bit and I'm going to weld right through that spot too. This photo illustrates that I came up with a new method after doing the first one. On the other three sides I actually took a die grinder and I cut triangles into the edges as you can see in this picture. I found it actually worked much better and was faster and safer than using the drill bit. Alright, so at this point the next step is going to be right here where you can actually see right on that side is the spider gear coming over and that's the axle gear. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go welding back and forth, back and forth across the two. I'm going to make sure to bind it as good as I can directly to the outside of this differential cover. Then I'm going to flip it over to 180 from this, do that side, and then go back crisscross and fill them in accordingly. I'm also going to see if I can weld this directly to the inside of this gear here. Every little bit helps. So unfortunately in this one you actually can't see any of the gear or feel it. So if I rotate it around, you can't in this one either. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but you can actually see where the gear going to the axle is right here. So I'm going to weld that entirely solid ac across there. And then I'm going to weld it up through and onto the side of this differential cover. So, remember all the wobbling that we had before? I'm trying as hard as I can to move it right now. There is just a little bit of play left. And that's because the spider gears in the inside are probably playing around just a little along with the axle. But that is a million times better than what we had before. And as you can see, I cannot rotate it. It is fully locked. So at this point, I'm going to pull everything apart. We're going to clean up every bit of slag, every bit of whatever. I'm going to flush this through and make sure everything is out of it. And then we're going to reassemble the tranny.